Who turned the temperature down? Woo! Right, the floor is finally on and we are going to set out this splash course all the way around. It's double plinth. There's a couple of things to think about. It's got coin corners as well on the front. Um, and all the, all the measurements on the drawing are from external brickwork. Uh, sorry, they're from outside brickwork uh, to outside of coin. So we're going to have to take off 25 mil for the coin and add on the plinth. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. For the purpose of this video, I've laid out the corner. I keep talking about plimps and coins and whatever else. I'm going to explain to you what they are now. For those of you who don't know what a plimp is, it's this. The building comes up, steps back. All right, we've got it all the way around. Comes up, steps back. There's two of them, doubles. All right, all the way around. Double plimp, coins up the corners. All the measurements are from the internal corner to the outside of coin. Now that's fine, but it means you have to take the measurement for the coin off and then add the plinth on. I'm going to explain now what I mean. Yep. I'm trying to find these measurements. The external measurements and the internal measurements below plinth. But I haven't got the measurements, so what I've got to do, this is what a coin looks like, right? So this, this is double plinth, this is the line of our brickwork, and this is the coin that steps over 20mm, 25mm, and that goes up the building like that. My measurement is from here to here. That ain't no good to me. So I need to take this measurement off. We'll take 25mm for measurements on the drawings. And then we've got to add this on for this. All right? So I talk about plinths, we're talking about these. And these are coins. They're all the way up the building, all right? Isn't that right, Arch? Oh, great. We record, Arch. Here we say, camera rolling. Cam camera rolling? There you go, Arch. There you go. Right, so through here look, this is the stairwell down into the basement, yeah? So this, this line here is the outside of our plinth. It comes back 110 mil. When it comes back over the top of the plinth, this is the line of our wall. The brickwork's already set. So whatever our bond is, we've got to make the bond work so it works over the top, it works our bond. Something else to add to the, uh, to the mix. So we chase the bond out. All the way through here, all the way through here. We've got another datum there, so we can tingle the middle. All the way through here. We've got, so we're going to need a parallel from the back corner to the back corner. And we've got 17,905 less 11,52. And then we've got to add the plimps on. So 17,905 less 11,52. Equals plus one one two for the plinth plus one one two for the plinth gives us sixteen nine seven seven. Remember that, Archie? What is it? Sixteen nine seven seven. Go on, boy. What's the number we're looking for, Archie? Sixteen nine seven seven. There you go. Right, I pull that tight. Sixteen. Oh, it's only Bob on. Sixteen. Sixteen meters. Nine hundred. 77. Well, one thing you've got to remember is four bricks to 900, all right? 900, one, two, three, four. The reason being, we're laying multis here, so all of these are different sizes, yet some small ones and some big ones. If you set out the 10 mil perks with all the small bricks, what happens if you get up top or on the next lift, you get a batch of big bricks, it ain't gonna work. So we'll set up brick work, four bricks to 900 mil, eight to uh, 1800, so forth and so on. Right, and that is what it needs to look like all the way around. You've got the brickwork on the front, backing block on the back and that backing block goes through with that brickwork into Neil's corner down the other end and that is the line of our house all the way to the top up 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 and away both the sides are in the front's in other than the two bays I'm going to set them at last so we've strung a line from corner to corner 
and we're just checking the parallels from the front base just to make sure the house is completely square. If it's all been set out with a set square, but I want to double check. Oh, I'll tell you what, Bruce, give you set camera in. The other room was 16 metres and 50. Oh, stop it. Stop it. My head up, right? Yeah, it looks fine, mate. Actually, give me that. Give me that. That's a joke. We're going to have one of your jokes for a while. All right, so I was down the pub watching the first game of the World Cup, speaking to this matey. So he says to me, I bet you can't name three guitar players. So I said, yeah, I can. Easy. It's no problem. Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton and George Harrison. <laughs> I nearly forgot. Does Lee know you're sat down? Huh? Does Lee know you're sat down doing this? Lee Archie sat down doing this. <laughs> Shouldn't sit down for my job. I'm waiting for something to be getting on with. The brickwork sets, I want to set these bay windows out, right? The issue I've got is I've got no measurements. From there to there, from there to there, there's no measurements. I don't know how big this pier is, this pier. Same again for here, I don't know how big this pier is. Right, can you see this centre line here? That is centre. Yeah, look, come on. This line here is centre to this roof. We've got a nine inch wall coming off the cavity there. And that's our cavity set there. And this bay is centre to this room. All right, not externally, it's centre to this, this. This is the dining room, it's dead centre to this room. And that is our centre. <laughs> So the splash course or the wrap round is all in, all the bays are set out, brickwork all the way round, uh, recessed it back for all of the openings. The only thing left to do is to set out the first course of blocks all the way round the inside. We're going to do that right now. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.